I think it's a great honor for our program. Uh, it shows that we're one of the best mid-majors in the country. And, um, you know, only 11 TV games are, 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 are televised. So uh, it's a big deal. So we're happy about it. And um, we have to play a really good team with a great coach. Uh, but it's great exposure for our, our team. And um, hopefully it will help recruiting. I think the Bracket Busters has been great for all mid-majors. Uh, for a school like us, because of our location, because of our success, and you know the crowds we draw here, it's really difficult to get non-conference games on our schedule, especially at home. So it's allowed us to play some pretty good mid-majors, and uh, even when we get chosen to go on a road like this year, they have to return the game within two years. So it really helps our schedule. It's definitely difficult. Uh, you know, one of our assistants is in charge of that game. They're working on you know, scouting College of Charleston right now. Um, I'll be honest with you, I haven't even watched a second of film on them. Um, we're playing some very important games in our conference, which are much more important than that game. Uh, so until uh, you know the game's over at Maine next Wednesday night, I won't look at the College of Charleston at all. And then I'll just sit down in the bus for a long drive back, and uh, you know then I'll really start focusing on Charleston. Well, Andrew's a great player. Um, just talking to people in ACC, they play a lot of ACC teams. They think he's one of the best guards in the country at any level. Uh, terrific scorer. He's going to be a handful for us. Uh, I think we have a very good defender, Brendan Ball, uh, but he's going to need some help from his teammates. So we're going to have to come up with a good game plan. Brendan's going to have to really be focused on, you know, not shutting him down, but just containing him. And hopefully he'll get a lot, get a lot of help from his teammates.